something's annoying them. Maybe it's us. <laughs> Stop the boat! <laughs> Come with me. Welcome to the wonderful RSPB events and cliffs. You've picked the best time of the year to come. You're looking at about nine main uh, breeding seabirds here. So we've got puffins, gannets, guillemots, razorbills, kitty wakes, um, and you'll see them across the whole extent of the cliff top, uh, actually totaling about half a million seabirds. Bempton is, you know, a bit of a stronghold. The more, you know, we can help look after it, the better. Fantastic, great. Well, we better get cracking. No worries, then. enjoy your day. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very much. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the puffins, obviously, but all the other stuff as well. I'm looking forward to the gannets. There's absolutely loads of them over there. So you've come to see the puffins, great. Yeah. But have you ever actually heard a puffin call? Well, they make like a sort of... Yeah, it's like a bit like a cow. They yeah. moo, they moo, so they're like... We'll have to look and listen out for it, if we can hear it. Straight in front, mm -hmm. there's a razor bill, a black and white bird that's just flapping yeah. its wings. Go to the right, there's a hole, there's a puffin in that hole. Oh, there's just one that's Oh, yeah, there. he landed right <laughs> in, my, uh, in my view. <laughs> that was wicked. <laughs> there's another puffin just landed there. Yeah, you can see the, the little feet just down there. Yeah. Oh, it's going. They're great, aren't they? With the warming waters, the fish are moving further north yeah. and the seabirds are just taking a little longer to catch up with that. And people are seeing that with all sorts of different birds, not just seabirds. Um, and it's, that's why it's so important to have these natural spaces. It's important to understand the impact that we have on the environment and that we can actually do something. And every individual person can do that. And it's, you know, whether it's small little sacrifices that you have to change the way you live a little bit, but everyone that does that, it creates a huge impact yeah. for, for these birds. And you see these today, and we know that their food source is declining. Great, are you, are you gonna Hello, take us good out? Afternoon. Welcome on board, Hello, Nice to meet you. I love going on boats, man. This is such a special treat for me. Connect a bit with nature, you know? So as you can see they hit the water when they feed, so they can actually hit the water at 60 miles an hour. As they hit the water, they'll swim 20 metres underwater. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I think they've just spotted dolphins, have they? Oh, but they're, they're actually jumping around and playing. But um, that's the amazing thing. You know, I think you always think about um, these exotic places and having these incredible animals. But the UK, we're looking at the dolphins. Oh, and there's a, I think that would be a, a guillemot there flying over there. Or a razor, but I'm not sure. Look at that. We're seeing dolphins playing in the UK. Oh. <laughs> what a day. I'm a bit blown away, really. Sleep well tonight. <laughs> what I've learned is that in a day you can see puffins, guillemots, razorbills, gannets, kittiwakes, fulmars, dolphins, which is absolutely incredible and how excited everybody was. And, and only by creating these wild environments like we have here that that is possible for us to enjoy all the beauty of UK nature.